In this video, we will solve our differential equation, which is dy by dx is equal to x plus y upon x minus y. The given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. And first of all, we will check that why this differential equation is a homogeneous equation. So first of all, we can see that the derivative dy by dx is a function of x and y. Suppose this equation is equation 1. And now the function f of x y is equal to x plus y upon x minus y. And now we will check that this function is a homogeneous function. So for this we will put lambda x in place of x and lambda y in place of y. So here we will put lambda x and lambda y. And now we can take lambda common from the numerator so we have lambda times x plus y and in the denominator we can also take lambda common so we have lambda times x minus y now this lambda and this lambda can be cancelled so we have x, x plus y upon x minus y and this is again the same function f of x y so if lambda f of lambda x lambda y is equal to f of x y then the function is homogeneous or we can say that the differential equation is homogeneous differential equation now in order to solve this differential equation we will suppose that y is equal to vx now the derivative dy by dx is equal to d by dx of v times x so we can apply the product rule of differentiation so we have v times derivative of x plus x times derivative of v and the derivative of x is 1 so we have v plus x times derivative of v so dy by dx is equal to v plus x times dv by dx now the given differential equation is dy by dx is equal to x plus y upon x minus y. So we will put this value in equation 1 and we have v plus x times dv by dx is equal to x plus in place of y we can put vx so we have x plus vx upon x minus vx now we have v plus x times derivative of v is equal to we can take x common so we have 1 plus v in the bracket and in the denominator again we can take x common so we have 1 minus v and we can cancel this x and th this x now the differential equation can be written as v plus x times dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v upon 1 minus v and then we take this v on the other side of equation so we have 1 plus v upon 1 minus v minus v and then we have x times dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v minus v times 1 minus v upon 1 minus v so we have x times dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v minus v plus v square upon 1 minus v and then we have x times dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v square upon 1 minus v now this can be written as a separable differential equation so we will multiply this 1 minus v by dv and 1 plus v square 
can be written in the denominator and we will take this dx on this side of equation so we have dx and this x can be written in the denominator now we have a separable differential equation because the coefficient of dv is a function of v and the coefficient of dx is a function of x so we can find the solution of this differential equation by integrating both sides so this can be written as 1 upon 1 plus v square dv minus integral of v upon 1 plus v square dv is equal to ln of x plus c now integral of 1 upon 1 plus v square is tangent inverse v minus now we have in order to integrate this function we must have 2v in the denominator so we will write 2 over here and multiply it by 1 upon 2 so we have derivative in the numerator so the integral of 2v upon 1 plus v square is half of ln of 1 plus v square is equal to ln of x plus c now we put the value of v so we have inverse tangent of y upon x because y is equal to vx so v is equal to y upon x then minus 1 upon 2 ln of 1 plus v square so we have y square upon x square is equal to ln of x plus c now we have inverse tangent of y upon x minus half ln of x square plus y square upon x square is equal to ln of x plus c and then we have inverse tangent of y upon x minus half now here we will apply the quotient rule of log so we have ln of x square plus y square minus ln of x square is equal to ln of x plus c now we multiply this minus half by both terms so we have inverse tangent of y upon x is equal to sorry minus half ln of x square plus y square minus half ln of x square is equal to ln of x now minus half multiply minus is plus half now we have to further simplify this equation so we have inverse tangent of y upon x minus half ln of x square plus y square plus half ln of x square is equal to ln of x plus c so we have inverse tangent of y upon x minus half ln of x square plus y square plus now we will apply the power rule of log so we can take we can make this power the coefficient of log so we will write ln x square as twice of ln x this power can be written as a coefficient of ln now we can cancel this two and this two so we have inverse tangent of y upon x minus half ln of x square plus y square plus ln of x is equal to ln of x plus c and then we have inverse tangent of y upon x minus half ln of x square plus y square is equal to ln of x plus c and we can take this ln 
of x on this side so we have it will become minus ln x now ln x minus ln x is 0 so now we have the final solution of the given differential equation which is inverse tangent of y upon x minus half ln of x square plus y square is equal to c where c is the constant of integration